Welcome back to Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, and today we're going to be continuing on with the main quest once again. And uh, we just got back from Ilunibi, and we have Corpus Disease. And we're supposed to go to Tell Fear to. Uh, let me see. We're supposed to go to Tell Fear to find a cure, if there's any cure. So, let's uh, go on and rest up, and then we'll head to Tell Fear. Well, I guess we actually have some stuff we need to drop before we get to tell fear. Just know to swap in weapons, but not a big deal. We'll just make a quick stop in at the uh, Fighters Guild. That's all we got here. We got glass, needs to be dropped, some hammer, some legendary stuff. Golden Saint. Okay, so we actually uh, need to be. Let's go make a constant robe. Uh, or a constant uh, anything, really, I guess. Constant magic equipment. Speak travel. So, to do that, you have to have the most powerful of. Uh, souls in a soul gem and a golden saint which I have saved in the zero star is uh, that most powerful um, soul that you can get. What is it? Uh, get away from me. You've got corpus disease. You can't get hurt, cured of corpus. Get away. Alright, so let's try not to talk to anyone while we do this. Uh, So what we'll do, we'll just drop everything for now. When you talk to people and you have a disease, uh, they like you less. That's why I don't want to do anything right now. So. Drop some of this heavy equipment and well met, friend. I'm in a place. Go ahead. make our way. Not sure why we had this, but I'm gonna drop it somewhere else. Oh wait, that's a uh, okay. Yeah, I do know why we have that. That's what uh, that's what uh, Kairos gave to us to give to uh, to Deveith the cure. All right. So with the rest of our uh, legendary stuff here, we'll drop the fist of Randigul. Alright. How are you? Not very good. I got corpus disease. Turning into a monster.
So if you've been watching this whole time, you've uh, been with me to tell fear before. We this is where we went and picked up the uh, the scourge legendary artifact, the Daedric Sanctuary amulet, uh, which in turn is the Daedric Crescent, the uh, the Curus uh, uh, of Savior's Hide. Here's the Savior's Hide. And I think that's all we got here. But. Might be forgetting one. Oh no, we actually had to talk to Yagram Bagram as well. Or ya Yagram Bagarn as well. When we were doing the Disappearance of the Dwarves for Trebonus. So, yeah, it's been a minute since we've been here. Let's see, there's the boat. And there's his entrance gate, right up there. We already know where he's at, too. But, for shits and giggles, let's go talk to his uh, I'm waiting. daughters. He's up above in, in his study. I hope you can fly. You can't get up there unless you can fly or have potions. Alright, so if you don't know where he's located, you just talk to them and they'll tell you. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Tenu Avila. How can I help you? And if you remember uh, Tenusea, this is the person from Vivek that we had to convince to leave in the tribunal quest. So she came to tell fear like she said she would. I only use the potion because I have it. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can use boots, spells, whatever you want to to fly up here. So, all right. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Fear. Say, that's an interesting glimmer piece you have there. What can you tell me about it? Uh, offer the glimmer artifact as a gift. A gift for me. How thoughtful and shrewd. I suppose you know I am a collector, and that such a gift is bound to please me. I congratulate you on your diplomatic skills, so why have you tried to butter me up? Come to consult the great Devay of Fear? You have the divine disease? Want to plunder the dungeons, or leer at my daughters? Leer at your daughters. Definitely leer at your daughters. Not bad for something born in a jar. <laughs> well, we've already talked to him about this, so let's go on in um, the divine disease. The magical principles of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous, far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I am persuaded that it is some manner the curse or blessing of a god. Perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It saps the mind and destroys the body, but to a wizard it is a profound and glorious mystery, a riddle worth long lifetime of study. How interesting. Did you know that corpus makes you immune to disease? Have you ever heard of the prophecies of the Nerevarine? Ashlanders say the Nerevarine would be immune to disease. I've always thought maybe I have the Nerevarine down in my corpusarium, and I don't even know it. 
The Nerevarine is a fat, disgusting corpus monster, and mad as a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, explain that you may fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. That's a fascinating story you tell. So, you might be the Nerevarine. Means nothing, of course. Corpus victims have all sorts of delusions. But, let me think. I've got a potion. In theory, it should cu cure corpus. Doesn't work, though. Probably kill you. Killed all my test subjects. But you got nothing to lose. Before I give it to you, I want you to look around below in the corpusarium. Know what's in store if you don't take the potion. And while you're there, I want you to pick up a pair of boots from a victim. Calls himself Yagram Bagarn, my oldest patient. Handy fellow. Fixes things for me. Bring the boots back, and then you can have the potion. All right, so we need to go down to the Corpusarium and talk to Yagrim a bit again. And we've already got the Scourge, then the Daedric Amulet, and that's all that is up here, except for the the uh, Savior's Hide, which was in that ch uh, closet here. Make our way down. And while you're doing this, remember don't hurt the inmates. Which are the corpus monsters. You just run past them. You already have corpus disease, so it's not like uh not like uh, you're gonna get anything bad, I guess. I am Visat Kai, Warden of the Corpusarium. I am here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. You can pl plunder the dungeons, but you have to endure their attacks. Or take the chances with that guy. Alright. This scent is Which, we're not going to be killing anyone anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's see. Looking to go to the bowels here. That works. Go on and get that calm spell out. Is it a calm creature? Oh well, we'll find out here soon. Level 80. We are going to open this just because we're here. Or maybe not. You're here for the Dwemer boots. Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwemer mage, mage crafter could have done so much, but only idiots could have created these boots. It shames my race that we must be judged by the works of such black wit blunders, blunderers. My race and gracious keeper and Dwemer boots. Once I was a master crafter in the service of Lord Kagernak, chief architect of the great Second Empire Free Freeholds. And the greatest enchanter of its time, I could not match the genius of Lord Kagernak, but what I could envision, I and my colleagues could build. All of that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but my hands and eyes fail me, and my memories have long faded. My only consolation is each day to mock the gods who destroyed my race and condemned me to this bleak existence. Since the disappearance of the dwarves, I have been alone in this world, trapped in this grim prison. I can scarcely move, and my fellow inmates are scarcely good company. I risk the risk of corpus disease deters most visitors, but if you meet with cultivated minds undaunted by the terrors of the corpusarium, you might mention your le your recent interview with the last living dwarf. I cannot say what happened. It's out. I was not there to observe, I was in the Outer Realm at the time, and when I came back, my people were gone. I left Red Mountain wandering Tamriel for years, searching our deserted colonies looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then, a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, 
still looking for answers. Instead, I found corpus disease, and I have been here ever since. I have theories if you are interested. Lord Kagranak, the foremost arcane philosopher and magecrafter of my era, devised tools to shape myth mythotic forces intending to transcend the limits of glimmer and mortality. However, in reviewing his formula, some logicians argued that side effects were unpredictable and errors might be catastrophic. I think Kagernak might have succeeded in granting our race eternal life with unforeseen consequences, such as a wholesale displacement to an outer realm, or he may have erred and utterly destroyed our race. This is how I style myself. I do not know for a fact that I am the last, but in my travels of thousands of years, thousands of years ago, I never encountered another, and since I have been here, I often ask Lord Fear, but he says he has never heard a credible rumor of another glimmer on Tamriel or in any outer realm. I owe my life to Lord Fear. He took me in while I was a mad monster out of my mind. In time, I emerged from my dementia, and now I am quite lucid most of the time. Though my body's still a grotesque and useless prison, but I still have some feeble hope of a cure. Lord Fear has tried many spells and potions. None have helped me, but neither have they harmed me. If anyone can cure this disease, Lord Fear can. Lord Fear obtained these enchanted glimmer boots from an unfortunate thief, and given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the fellow came a bad end. But I can do nothing for them. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again. If such a pair of boots could still be fashioned in the benighted latter days. But I have done my best. Take them to Lord Fear with my sincere apologies. Okay. It's kind of funny that you can rest here considering there's corpus beasts all around. Alright, so we got full set of Dwemer armor, a lot of books, and a lot of coins. Let's just take all of them. Oh, well, uh... Okay, well, I guess you can't do that, so let's just load the autosave. So don't steal out of that, 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 uh, closet. <laughs> Volendrung and Glimmer Coins. Now you can take out of that, and Volendrung is another uh, legendary artifact. And I'm calling them legendary artifacts, they could also be called uh, just unique items. So. Also, you didn't have to close that door leaving either. I just did because why not? Oh, crap. And that's interesting. Oh well. We 
go on and get back to clear. Get to the next part of this quest. Did you get the boots? Get my boots. No boots, no potion. The boots first, please. And now, I'll give you the potion. On the following condition, you must drink it here before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed? Uh... Sure. Why not? Good. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good. Now swallow. Goodness. Good grief. Look, look. It's working. Remarkable. Let me check your skin, your eyes, your tongue. Amazing. I think it worked. No sign of the disease at all. Of course, you still have corpus disease, just like I planned, but all your symptoms are gone. Marvelous. I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate inmates, but I'll answer any questions you have before you go. See? No more symptoms. Amazing. A bit surprised myself. <laughs> Didn't even know it was going to work worked, didn't it? Remarkable. Perhaps it'll work on other inmates. I proceed carefully, of course. You may be an exceptional case. Alright, so we don't have corpus anymore, but we are now immune to disease. Let's see. Common disease immunity. Blight disease immunity and corpus immunity. So, immune to all diseases. So, now that that's done, I guess we can go and talk to Caius again. And it looks like we're all healed up to here. Let's make sure about taking off the Necromancer's amulet. Okay, we got intelligence. We need to restore our intelligence. So, something about the restoration of a uh, your stats, if you have them boosted through means of uh, equipment, then you can't actually restore them using magic uh, until you take the equipment off and put it back to its original, um, whatever its original stat are, is. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. Nomad, thank you for your report. I'm very happy you've been cured. Unfortunately, I've had a bit of bad news. I've been recalled to the Imperial City. You will be promoted to operative, and you will head the blades here in Vardenfell until I return. I've only waited here to give you your final orders before I go. Okay. So now we're going to be on our own. Promoted, head, recall. Right. Let's see. Internal politics, some concern about my sugar. I thought about refusing the recall, but they have members of my family back in the capital. I'm afraid it may have something to do with the problem with the problems with the succession. As the Emperor's health declines, factions and maneuvering for advantage, I may be gone a while. That's why you're promoted to operative. That makes you the ranking blades agent here in Bardenfell District. As far as I know, there may be other blade agents here I don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. I may be gone a while and you'll have expenses. Here's some gold and you can use the house until I return. And I won't be needing these blacks or the ring while I'm in Cyrodiil. Maybe they'll come in handy. Take good care of them. Caius black pants, black shirt, Caius's ring. All right, and let's see. Head of the Blades. There's nothing to it. Each agent has his own assignment and reports directly to Cyrodiil. You're promoted to operative mostly to preserve your independence. You're no fool. The days of the Empire are almost over. When the Emperor dies, nine hells are going to 
break loose. Forget about the Imperial City. Think locally. Worry about the Sixth House and Dagoth Earth and squabbles between the Great Houses and the Colonists. The rest of the politic political nonsense doesn't amount to a plate of spell. Alright, now we can talk to him about orders. Continue pursuing the Nerevarine prophecies as the Emperor commanded. First, go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice and get Myra, Mayra Milo to help you find the lost prophecies. She's being watched. If something has gone wrong, find her private quarters. She'll leave you a message there under the code word Amaya. Then, take the lost prophecies to Nabani Mayasa. From that point, you'll have to follow her directions and follow the prophecies. Good luck. Alright, so now we're going to be on our own. Caius is going to be gone, but we got to go to... Uh, we're going to have to go to Vivek here to speak to uh, Mayra Milo. And as soon as we leave this house, Caius is gone. And here's his blacks, black shirt, fortify sneak, chameleon on the pants, and security and luck on the ring. Not bad, but not great by any means. Um, do I want to wear any of it? I don't think so. I really don't want to because it weighs. We'll just drop that with the uh, hammer and everything else when we go to the Fighters Guild here in Baltimore. Too. Alright, but we won't be coming back to Caius' house anymore, so we're going to drop another mark now, somewhere else. And we're probably going to drop that in uh, the Mage's Guild, so that we can have Must access to uh, fast travel very easily. Oh. I like friend. what I see. I don't think we have anything to sell to the guy. Not on this, so we'll pick something up to sell to him. Selling the hammer, I guess. Five grand. Looks like we're going to take a hit on it, but that's fine. We got plenty of gold. But we are going to take all of his gold, nonetheless. Is that all? We don't have. Okay, we have Caius' stuff to drop. Go down here and drop it. Got some exquisite stuff here. Take a robe, and uh, that's all we're gonna do here. Tidings and good wishes. Sell you a beer. I have a few things to sell you. Get rid of these uh, alcohol items. Hmm. Just keep that and then we'll take all of them. and drum now, which is a heavy hammer that we will not use. There's the stats on in case you're wondering.
not too great unless you're a Warhammer or blunt weapon user. Let's see, we got a extravagant raid. Is that one extravagant as well? Yeah. Alright, let's see. I think it is the High Elf who does enchanting. Nope. Alright, I don't think there's anybody Welcome, here. Friend, the day is old. What shall we talk so let's go on set mark. <laughs> we'll travel to Aldrun where there is an enchanter. Oh, it's Galbadir. Galbadir is the enchanter. Alright. So the item I want to enchant is going to be... I'm going to try this one because I like the red robe. So... And I can do a constant effect. And the constant effect I want to use is... I'd love a constant restore health effect. Alright, so I can't use that because uh, the enchantment out outclasses everything in the top right. Maybe if I put the extravagant robe, yeah, so I can do it that way. And that will make me extremely hard to kill, but that's not what I want to do. Um, how do I remove that? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do my helmets. I'm gonna do night eye. Alright. And that's gonna cost me eight grand to do. Name it something here. We'll call it Insight. I think that's correct. Well, before we do it, we're going to do this. We're going to save, make sure I do it correctly. So, there we go. Save, run quest. Night Eye, 15. Alright, and then we're going to buy it. And there we go. Now we got Night Eye on our helmet. Constant effect. There we go. Alright, so now we'll continue on with. Uh, by going to going to Babette.
evening to you. A pleasure to meet you. Now we're looking for Mayor Milo, or Mayla, Mayor Milo's quarters. So, and he said the hall was for Mayor Milo. Right, we gotta find her quarters. So she's, her stuff is somewhere in this building, I think. Justice and quarters and an office. Milo's quarters. All right. So To Amaya. So that's what we were looking for. Anything else in here? Robe. Common robe. Oh, Alright, so let's see. Sorry I missed you. I had to run some documents over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth, and I'm likely to be tied up there for a while. Why don't you? You meet me there as soon as you can. Then I can leave to get. We can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amaya, don't forget to bring me the two divine intervention scrolls you borrowed. Or if you use, if you use them, buy a couple of new ones for me. I think I'm going to need them soon. Janand Malini at the Mages Guild in the Foreign Quarters keeps them in stock. Alvela Saram is the guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me, and she'll let you in. Your faithful friend, Mayra. I left a couple of levitation potions here for you just in case. I couldn't remember if you knew the spell or not, so I drew a couple from the stock. So, rising force potions, which we don't need, so I'm not going to bother taking them. But we're going to go to the Ministry of Truth now. And if you don't know what the Ministry of Truth is, then you haven't seen the potato in the sky. How may I help you, but we can just ask, I guess. Maybe. Yep. The Ministry of Truth was hollowed out to provide a prison and re-education center operated by the Temple Ordinators for the Correction of Heretics. Essentially, it's a prison, so... <laughs> so, Mayra has been taken to prison. Impressive. And it is right there. Potato in the sky. Let's see. We want to go to the apostle. Processing. I'm not sure if you're supposed to get in up top or on the bottom, so. I don't know where to begin. It on top, I guess. To I'm sorry, no pilgrims allowed in the ministry. I'll have to ask you to leave, but. You're not here to visit anyone, are you? Mayra said you would come. 
I'll say you subdued me with magic and stole my key. It opens all three exterior doors. The upper door is the best. You'll need other keys for other doors inside. Search for the keys in the desk. No one carries keys while on duty. Mayor is in prison in the prison keep in the cell on the far right. Mayor said you'll bring scrolls to get out. Some of us are sympathetic to the dissident priest, but kill an ordinator and you'll lose that sympathy. You've got rank in the temple. Maybe you can bluff your way through. Here's the key to the entrance. Now get going. Alright. So, because I have a... Because I have the patriarch... I am the patriarch of the temple. I have rank in the temple. So, I have to be careful not to kill any of the ordinators or I will get kicked out. So, we're going to save here before we continue on. So let's go on and do this. We're going to cast Invisibility. Wow, we still don't have a high chance to cast this spell. But we did, so cool. Means I need to He's a little side, look for them in the desk. She said there's sympathy for the distant priests and all the ordinators. Anyone gets killed getting her out, you lose that sympathy. Alright. Pick the lock, I guess. It's not like it's that. Uh oh. Well, maybe they don't care. Uh. Temple? Oh, that's outside. These guards are everywhere. They don't seem to care that I'm wandering around though. What do you want? Oh, uh, Patriarch Nomad. You are not allowed in here. You must leave immediately and without hesitation. If you do not leave immediately peacefully, we will use force and I will be not be responsible for your safety. Alright, I'll leave immediately. I don't know how you got in here, but if you don't leave on your own two feet now, you'll leave in a bag. Okay, bye. I'm out, peace. Alright, we'll just unlock the rest of the stuff on our own. I just went this way earlier. Hmm. Perfect sense. Ooh, a 
guess it's over this way that we have to go. I'm your superior officer here. Not making full rank and file on you. Okay, so it's not that way. What do you want? I don't care who you are, Patriarch. You don't belong here, so get out right now. Don't make us use force. I don't know how you got in here, but if you don't leave on your own two feet now, you'll leave in a bag. Alright, so they say the same thing. We don't want to leave in a bag, so we're going to go this way. Away from all y'all. Nomad, this is against procedure, and you know it. Get out of here immediately. Uh, did I know that? What do I need to do? Persuade. <laughs> Make him like us a lot. You don't want to attack us or attack me. Maybe you do. I'm humanoid. So. Alright, so what we're going to do is fly over all these people because I don't want to kill them and get kicked out of the temple. But this is a really cool little place, nonetheless. Let's see, who are you people? I want to talk to you, stop moving. I'm thinking it's a lot safer in here with ordinators not mad at me than it would be with me out there with ordinators mad at me. They're a rough bunch. Mad with me is not how I want to be dealing with them. Oh, you want to swing in? Stop moving. Damn fool, meddling priest. I wouldn't have touched her if she hadn't come on to me like a hot sow. Bastards, get my hand on one, and I'm going to squeeze him like a pimple. The priests? No, not the guards. They're just doing their jobs. No, it's the dang priest I want my hands on. Uh-oh. We're down. Alright, gotta go up. Gotta get out. Oh, I know you can't. What's this one? Holding cell. Alright, let's just, uh... You in here, Myra? Mayra? Nope. Some dude. Nothing to do with me, mate. I ain't shifting. Did the crime and doing me time. It's a fair cop. I'm doing me time and walking free, else me poor mum be a worrying herself sick. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, it's locked again. Oh! And obviously, if you're not in the uh, temple, you just kill them. Of course, the last place we go is going to be the correct. 
been here for some sort of blasphemy or something. Did it all right. Uh, Guild says, serve your time and keep your yap shut. So I'm being a good boy and staying quiet. There's nothing really, just regular barrack talks. But there was a lady present and this Red Room Lord got up on his hind legs and was going to slit me like a sturgeon. Better this way. Dang, sight better. Yeah, the divine intervention scrolls. I have an escape plan. I'll need one divine intervention scroll myself for escape. Getting out will be a lot faster and safer for you if you have one, but if you haven't got one for yourself, maybe you can find some other way out. Now, listen, here's my plan. Give me a divine intervention scroll. I'll meet you at the secret dissident priest monastery at Holomayan. For safety, we'll travel separately. When you get out of here, look for a woman named Lada. Hateria on the East Ox of Evanhart. Tell her I sent you and that you want to go fishing. She'll bring you to Holloman by boat. I'll meet you there and we'll get the lost prophecies from Gilvis Barilla and leader of the, the leader of the dissident priest and magic conceals Holomena entrance. Speak to Vivarin Aaron. I don't know how to say this. A monk at the docks at Holloman about the hidden entrance. Um, all right, now where's the uh... secret monastery of the distant priest? The monastery itself is beneath the surface of a remote island along the Azure coast. With only a single entrance hidden from view by hills and vegetation. The monastery is the furthest pr is further protected by a magical shield, which opens only at dawn and dusk, the magical twilight hours, sacred to Azura. Welcome, friend. All right. Are you the one I've heard talk about? So, did you? By intervention out. I have the scroll. Alright, so now all we gotta do is get out ourselves and we're just gonna use divine intervention. <laughs> but we're gonna use a amulet instead of a scroll. So and we're at Ebonheart. So that's where we're gonna call it for today, guys, and uh, in the next one we will continue with the main quest and go to the dissident priest. See you in the next one.